Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. Today, I'm hanging out at the Fort Griffin State Historic Site, the recreation area. It's actually a campground. the great state of Texas, exploring history and parks and just all kinds of stuff, taking you places that you may not otherwise know exist or have it, would ever have the chance of going. Today, I'm hanging out at the Fort Griffin State Historic Site, the recreation area. It's actually a campground. I got the little red scooter. I got the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod. Best of all, I have you. So let's jump on Little Red and go see this, this cool park. I think we may have a, a cattle drive thing going. So... This park... is actually the home of part of the official Texas State Longhorn Herd. The genetically pure herd of Longhorn cattle. And on Saturdays, they do uh, something called horns and tails. I don't know what that is, but it's Saturday, it's 2 p.m. It looks like they're bringing the cows up. So we'll loop, loop through the campground and then come back and check that out. It's not a real big park. There's about 30 sites. Some full connection, some water and electric, and some so primitive you have to have a tent. There's also equestrian camping. It is of the most basic nature. And that equestrian camping would be here on the right, where that white sign is. Apparently you have to have documentation that you're horse is free of something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but if you're a, a horse person, you know. There's some more long horns. Now we're going to swing through. I, I hate to call it a loop. We're going we're gonna to cruise through this this part that has the full connections. There's only about, I think, 10 sites that have full connection. This park was originally a Texas State Park. 2008, it was transferred to Texas Historical Commission which makes sense because it's more of a historical site as opposed to a recreation destination. Now this is the extent of your recreation right here. There's basketball, volleyball, swings, camping. There are two points to access the river. And both of those are in campsites. And I just happened to be camped in one of those, site number 20, right there ahead of us. I 
all of the sites here are very flat it's very easy to get level we're right on the river this park was built by the ccc you're still seeing a lot of a lot of the structures built by the ccc like that building right there i think that's a group pavilion it is memorial day weekend 2021 There's two nature trails, and this one just happens to be closed. Uh, they do have boat rental. There's John Boat right there on, the, on our right. That is available for rent. But the way that river is today, I would sure hate to go float on it. Now this is the ball, the baseball, softball field. And we have completed the loop. Now right here is the tent camping, primitive tent camping area. All right, we're gonna close this out. And I'm gonna go check out the Longhorn. So hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I really do appreciate you riding along with me to this point on our ride through Fort Griffin State Historical Site. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am so deeply honored. And to my patrons, well, I, I'd salute you. But then I might have to take advantage of this helmet. Thank you. Y'all come back now, you hear?